Hi friends! Welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you you how to paint uh, in plain air, in outside paint in outside. So here is a beautiful. Can you see the beautiful flowers in the field? It's a California. So city is uh, Chino Hills. Okay, I want to uh, paint middle of the uh, center of. Of fields in can you see the uh, small road there and yeah here and there two roads there in the center and then beautiful yellow she colors flower so let me show you how to sketchy from sketchy to finish colors okay and then uh, I'm not sure finish whole painting here so uh, I go back to home and some detail area I will finish for uh, this painting. Okay, this paper and Archie called the pressed paper and colors I'm going to use on my palette colors and usually maybe I'm going to use yellow, green and ultramarine deep and some of uh, yeah brown <laughs> brown colors okay yes okay let's get start with the 2H pencil on the watercolor paper I'm going to beautiful flowers here and here is some small mountain in the uh, in the distance and here is a small road hi there I came back to the studio started there but then I couldn't finish so I start again now so I prepare all my materials and here so uh, I finish it sketchy and colors yellow orange bonsina uh, this is olive green a cerulean blue some of uh, purple and also i want to uh, use the wooden stick and water spray bottle yes yeah, so today we are going to use some kind of abstract technique a little bit of love style splash and scratch with the wooden stick okay Let's have fun together. Let's get uh, started. Okay. Start to wash the paper sky area with uh, water spray bottle. So spray two two times as you need on the uh, sky area. Okay. And take some blue into the sky. This is a cerulean blue. Sky area. Sky area and some of mountain area too. I don't want a, a sky color, a thick, thick color. I'm just to try the light sky so I did uh, second times of layer and then before this paper dry I take some of the purple into cerulean blue so a mixture of cerulean blue and purple so kind of um, blushy purple so Put on the mountain area. Okay, then tilt the paper. I don't want to make a uh, see that just uh, in detail 
just so we can see where is the sky, where is the mountain, just so we can uh, know about that uh, position. So I'm going to put one more layer on the sky. So mixture, I'm, I'm gonna uh, cerulean blue mix this purple. Okay, that's it. Uh, let it dry on the sky and mountain area. And next step, move on to uh, wildflowers area here. So I'm going to start the same way as the sky. Water first and color lightly. And uh, next, strong thick density of color and finally, and the detail. So first, uh, I'll make some water water area water the area so clean the parts and also use the spray so i do i did spray water on the paper area and take a, take a bit of yellow, take a bit of yellow, apply on the flower area. But then I'm going to start to far in the distance area. Here is two small uh, loads there. So I'm going to save that uh, that uh, place. And next, uh, yellow mix, olive green color. This area still uh, paper holds a lot of water, so I'm touching with the yellow color, so soaking into the olive green, greenish color. So they mix together this color. Look at that, so beautiful. And some of, um, they make some of abstract effect. So brand, yeah, look at this so beautiful i love this uh, some kind of this effect ponte sienna mix uh, olive green so i want to get some uh, dark and some dark brown color put on here Okay, I'm going to try this uh, foreground area. So, uh, next in the foreground area, add a mixture of this olive green mix, a burnt sienna color. I want to get some uh, very thick and strong density of color. So in front,
Today we are going to use the, some uh, abstract techniques. Um, don't hesitate just to try it. Uh, today uh, our topic is some, uh, we need to a uh, little bit of uh, be brave. And I now I wanna uh, use the, this wooden stick, scratch it to make a stem like this. Actually, these, uh, these flowers are tall and stems very thick. So we are going to use a stick. We used this stick to draw a stem. So try it rough and quickly. So, yeah, okay. And draw a stem. And now I'm I want to use a spread uh, water spread I already use a uh, splash technique for flower, but I want to get some uh, yellow, a thick yellow color, make some uh, flower, just kind of dots. Look at that, just to grab the color and put on the spot, flower spot area. OK, 
Okay, uh, today painting finished. I hope you have a great time with this painting. Thank you for watching this painting. See you next time. Bye.